I went for a walk along the Beverly Brook in London. It began at New Melden Station, where there was no sign of water. But there was a church that had been there for a long time, and a lot of residential streets. I walked on tarmac and saw a flower, a cigarette packet and sport shoes on a wall. I hid from the A3 in a tunnel underneath and emerged to find the river. I followed it along overgrown footpath and rugby fields. I found an entrance into the woods of Wimbledon Common and kept the river to my left for a mile or so. There I met a tree and walked around it. I saw mushrooms and berries I didn't eat and I met friends with a dog and his gigantic stick. The Beverly Brook gurgled once, and someone found it dangerous, so they built a barrier next to it. I passed a stone, informing me that Paris was 186 miles away, but I wasn't going there, so I ignored it. I kept going straight on, until I met up with a capital ring walk and a bridge. I left the river behind to say hello to the A3 again. I didn't linger, but looked for Robin Hood Gate to enter Richmond Park. I got hungry, and I ate an apple. I found the river again and followed it until I reached the fence protecting it while Richmond renaturalizes its waters. I walked on and saw a heron take flight and a water bottle chilling in dead wood. The renaturalization ended and I could walk along the brook again. The path got bigger and I crossed the bridge. There, the river veered under a wall to exit Richmond Park. I couldn't do that, so I used Roehampton Gate instead and treated myself to chocolate. I met up with a brook and followed dog walkers. I saw a flock of pigeons feeding on a field and children playing football with one grown man. I was forced away from the river, past busy allotments and into residential streets. I went into Priestbridge, which is actually a road, and got a glimpse of the Beverly Brook. I walked on and saw an abandoned quay before meeting up with my old friends I called Route 4. It led me back to the river where a young guide showed me the way. I crossed through railways and reached the old barn cemetery where I tried not to step on anyone's grave. The river played hide and seek for a bit, but I found it even if I couldn't really see it most of the time. I walked some more until I reached the Thames. I took a selfie with a Beverly Brook who had been such a good companion for the last three hours, and I watched it mingle with its bigger sister. After a while, I left and followed the Thames path all the way home.